JB Moro, go and get your bag. been a long time since i've been on youtube yes i know yes i know yes i know so i kind of look a mess a little bit i tried to pull it together look a little decent but today is a very special day because it's my first day going to the cemetery by myself y'all see my shirt y'all see my shirt i have really mixed emotions about this i'm low-key scared i'm low-key like just like I just don't know. I have like a lot of mixed emotions, but I feel like this is something that I need to do and I'm finally making the steps. So I'm very proud of myself. So I'm just gonna take y'all with me. So I'm about to load up, get my stuff that I want to bring out there and I will check back in. Okay y'all, so I'm in a car and I'm about to head there. It is a far drive. It's like 50 minutes away so this is gonna be a far drive and like i said y'all my emotions is everywhere but the reason why i really want to do this is because it's about to make two years um and this has been weighing heavy on my heart i always put it off i always say i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and i never go because i feel like it really hits like every in real life when i when you're there when you see that headstone all that i feel like it just hits a lot differently so it's kind of been something that i've been scared to do but in the back of my mind, I'm trying to go in with a positive mind and I'm very excited that I'm finally taking this step after two whole years. If you are one of my supporters, you know that this is really big. This is very huge. So I'm about to get on this road and I'm going to check back in with y'all when I get out there. So this might be a little bit emotional. Just want to give y'all a heads up because, um, again, like I said, I've been having a lot of stuff on my heart and a lot of stuff that's been going through my head when it comes to my situation. So just bear with me guys i just gotta be very raw and real and uncut with y'all but mk the doll will be back honey when i make this drive bye y'all okay so here i am i look a mess y'all sorry but um it took an hour to get here and considering the fact that i've only been here one time um i had a hard time finding her because i only been out here one time and that was like when my whole family came I had to put some better lighting out here because it's getting dark um i finally found her and i'm gonna show you guys and i opened it up so y'all can see the picture <laughs> hold on gotta dust dust it off for y'all dust it off excuse my nails i'm getting them done soon but this is my sister <laughs> So I brought my little blanket and it has me and my sister on it, y'all. Y'all probably have seen this before, but that's me and her. That's me and her. That's me and her. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, pootie. <laughs> I know I've been promising to come out here. I really have, but it's been so hard for me. I said I wasn't going to be doing no crying because I'm fuming. And you got a lot of supporters now, girl. You got a lot, a lot of people who know you now. And I hate the reason why they know you. Because you had a personality out of this world, girl. Wish they would have got to see it. But life has been life in. And a lot of things have changed. I really needed this. I'm so happy that I came, girl. I drove an hour. <laughs> I drove an hour. But I really needed this, Jay. I really did. I really did. <laughs> oh, man. This is hard, girl. <laughs> well, I guess I could stop all this crying because you're probably looking at me now like stop all that crying girl but i had a baby and i found out about him um on your one year anniversary of passing so i always felt like that was a sign he's like really really cute too <laughs> and he smiles a lot and i know you probably would have been thinking that he your baby too right um i kept teaching i got back in school because you know i dropped out <laughs> when you passed life was just hitting me hard at that time so i dropped out but i'm back girl and i'm really getting it done i'm actually passing and everything and i'm putting my best foot forward 
because I want to make you proud and I want to make Kai proud and I actually been doing this whole TikTok thing let me tell you about it so I started venting on there about my situation and I started telling them about how I was feeling because you know life ain't been the same since you closed those pretty eyes and you've had videos that hit over the millions and there are so many people who support and love you like I do and it's like they met you or something <laughs> oh I cannot believe I'm at the cemetery talking to you look at her headstone y'all so pretty so pretty it gets dark really fast out in here and the crazy part is I was so scared about coming out here so scared about being out here but it's actually pretty peaceful <laughs> lately life has been good for me though I've actually seen myself grow because my depression was hitting very very heavily after I lost you but every now and then I still have my breakdowns because I can't believe that you're not here with me right now and it's just hard for me to accept right now it really is because I feel like you're supposed to be here you're probably just up there lighting up heaven though I had to come out here so you know that I didn't forget about you I had to I had to I had to you know I didn't forget about you though it just was hard for me really hard really freaking hard uh -huh. <laughs> you know that I noticed that the picture in your headstone that's the last day I, I seen you I remember I had seen you cause I was in college and I was back on a break and you just look so tall to me. Like you look real tall. And I just kept staring at you cause I was like, girl, it seemed like you growing up too fast. And you was just talking like a big girl. And you just had this possessed about you. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, like I'm not ready for her to grow up. And I was like, man, she's not gonna be my baby for a long, long time anymore. She's growing up to be a big girl. And then the next time I see you, you was playing up to machines. And my life changed forever. But I promised you that I would never stop, never stop saying your name. And I promised that I wouldn't let them forget. And I'm actually keeping up with my promise. And that's one thing that gives me the most peace in the world. <laughs> the most peace in the world. I'm telling you. It gives me so much peace knowing that I'm really keeping up with your name, girl. I just don't want nobody to forget. You were so special to me. There's so much stuff that I miss about you. Like, you used to do this weird thing. Like, you would sniff me. Get in the bed and you would sniff people. And you would say, you smell so good. You smell so good. I think that was your love language. <laughs> you would remind me how pretty I am. Of course. You always told me, ooh, you look so good. Look at your nails. Like, you just make me feel like the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> it's so much stuff that you used to do that I miss so much. Oh, my God. And now that life is on track, I still often ask God why. Why do I have to sit here and visit you? Why did this happen to our family? I have just so many questions. Two years later, so many questions, so many questions. You know, I just feel like this is very unfair. But I always feel like you were a special girl. I have to tell them, mama all the time you were special you special something about you you just special you see i wore my shirt out here <laughs> and i even got a tattoo that's just for you hope you like it girl <laughs> i'm just taking it day by day and i just want to let you know that i finally did it and i'm finally out here and I'm going to keep coming out here. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise.
lately though i think it's because the time is coming up around the time that you passed that i just been feeling a lot of anger and a lot of frustration and i've been having little breakdowns like i told you but i just came out here to talk to you and let you know what i was feeling and hopefully you give me a sign or give me some type of peace because i know you wouldn't want me mad and i know you wouldn't want me angry or hurting so i'm just gonna pray over myself with you and i'm gonna talk to you while i pray because hey the only thing that's been getting me through this is really praying girl it's the hardest thing i ever had to face in my whole entire life God, please give me strength, give me courage, give me wisdom. Please help me on the hardest days, that, even the days I don't feel like getting out of bed. God, please give me some type of peace on my situation. And please take care of her, please, Lord. Please let her light up people's lives in heaven, how she's lit up our life. God, please. Hold me on days that I feel like crap and I feel like my whole world is coming to an end. Please just keep giving me courage and wisdom, like I said. And please let my little baby boy know all about my sister. And most of all, God, I just want you to get justice for my girl. And I know everything does not work on our timing, and I'm learning that. So I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to keep praying, and I'm going to have faith. But please let that man wake up every day, every day, and there are stones in his bed, and that all he thinks about is Jay. God, please let this man never forget what he has done. Never let him move on with life. Never let him forget, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Lately, i just been chasing these goals, girl. And I know you're, like, so proud of me. Because I know you see everything. I know you see everything. It's, like, super peaceful out here. I just had to make time to come see you. And I'm so excited. I just have so many emotions running through. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. I really did not want to cry in this video, y'all. But I just want to say I'm so thankful for everybody who's been a part of this journey. And if you see me here today and you're watching this video, you know this is a big, big step for me. And I'm glad that you guys are here to witness it. I want to spend some time just talking with my girl. And I'm glad that you guys could be a part of it. But I just want to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her and just catch her up on a few things. Again, thank you guys for tuning in in this video. And thank you guys for being here um, again for one of the hardest moments of my life. Um, I'm going to bring Zakai out here very, very soon. And I'm going to make sure you guys are a part of that. Um, I love y'all. And thank y'all again for tuning in this video. If you're not subscribed, you need to be subscribed. Um, follow me on Instagram to keep up with me and my son. And keep up with my sister's journey. I love y'all once again. Justice for Journey and MK the Doll is out.